G'day everyone, Master Road here from CapsuleComputers.com. Just going to run you through the quick uh, video on the Street Fighter Street Pass trophy um, thing. So pretty much uh, how this one works is you walk past and you speak and you pretty much transfer your data against someone else and you then see what they've got and you take on their character, their trophy um, characters uh, and go on a battle. So let's have a look at this one here, this is the one, the top one, as you can see right there. The, the one there I um, have already played. This is the one that we've actually accessed. So I'm going to select it and I click on A and you watch the battle in play. So here we go. So we see that we've got first one is I'm on the left and the other guy is on the right. I'm a level 4 character versus a level 1 character. They fight and I won the first one. Get 500 points. Second one is my level 5 character versus a level 1 character so it seems like once again I'm not gonna have too much of a problem there second one is my level 5 versus a level 1 so got a bit of difference in attack power and uh, in range so once again that was a good battle he lost again next one is level 5 versus level 1 seems like this guy here that I'm taking on now did not have a good strategy or he's just set up his street pass so unfortunately he didn't win the last one's gonna be pretty fair one versus one, so it's a 30, it's pretty much a very close battle. HP, and so we'll soon see who can win this one. Oop, got them one, got them all, perfect. Five for five, excellent. And you get an achievement for doing that first, so that's fantastic. So there you go, very simple. Street Fighter Street Pass, very easy to do. The way it works is you have to, you got a, a score of 20, 20 or so. Hey, yeah, you can see me right there. Um, yeah, so pretty much when you do set it up, you, I'll jump back out and show you very quickly. Go back here, take you to the street pass here. So as you can see here, this is where the street pass information is work, works for the um, for your trophies and the way you actually fight when you're away, when you cross someone with a street pass. So for example, I can edit this right now, go into the edit, and the way you do it, um, you can choose your figurines and create your team roster. So what you can do here is you've got a limit on the amount of amount of points you can use. Now the way the points work is by levels of difficulty, levels of strength. So as you can see here, level 7 Ryu would be very powerful. Uh, and so you, you'd want to use him, but the problem is, if you did want to use him, you'd have to make sure that you have, a, you can't have all 7 in, uh, like all level 7's up the top. See, as you can see here, they're all, like there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 characters. And you've got to take, make a total of 20. Uh, or 22 I think it is. Let me let's, let's jump in and I'll, I'll basically show you what I'm talking about. So for example, if I select Ryu, um, there you go, so 20, my bad. So basically, see up the top here, you've got 20, okay? So the way it works is you need to make sure that you have a total of 20 ratio points. So for example, so my first one there is, um, who is he? That's Cody. Uh, I do have Sagat at level one. Then I have Balrog at level five, Sakura, at level 5 uh, and Abel on level 5. So if you calculate them, it's 4, 1 equals 5, that's 5, 10, 15, 20. So you've got to make a total of 20 points and as you can see the total ratio is in there. So unfortunately, like I know that you might have, you might find some really good characters which you know basically are all level 7, you can't use them all. Or you can use two of them which bring, bring you to 14 and then you've got three weaker ones. So you're guaranteed to probably win two out of the three fights, but then you've got to be very careful because the other guy could strategically put like maybe here and here and here, uh, five, 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 and you only can have like two, 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 uh, and you won't win. So you've got to be very strategic when you do play. So that's uh, how Street Pass, that's how the Street Pass works. And you can create, you can get all these, you can get all these characters um, from the roulette wheel, or you can swap them with your friends. So as you can see, there's a whole lot of different. There's a whole lot of ones that I would love to use. Um, as you can see, there's um, that's that's not secure. That's Seth. Uh, there's a whole lot of them that I'd love to use, but you pretty much can't. You got to you got to share um, the the street paths points out of the twenty uh, to do the trick. So that's it. That's um, how street pass works. What I can show you very quickly is how to. Um, uh, let me just activate the street pass and say yes. I would like to use this team as my street pass team. Say yes. It activates, saves, and lets you jump out. Now, there is another thing you can do uh, when you can uh, to get more to get more of the little figurines, uh, and that is going to the figurine uh, slot. When you go here, 
This is where you actually earn points. So as you can see, you've got 5,000 points. I'll run you through a few of them. So basically, one figurine will cost you 200 uh, FP points. As you can see, I've got 121 out of 500, so it's really cool. Now, the way it works, see down here, is the push button. It's really, really cool. So all you got to do is push it once, it starts spinning. And you push it again, and it will stop. And it will stop on a specific character. So when that character stops, it says, Okay, you, it's a figurine. It's randomly generated. You do not have the choice of picking what you want. It could, you could possibly spin and spin and spin and, and always get level one, but you can spin and spin and spin and also get level seven. So you, you can. It's pretty much up to your. It's up to luck. It's pretty much like a roulette wheel and a luck of the draw, and that's how that works as well. So you can keep on doing that. Keep on pressing. Press again. It spins. Press again one more time, and you get another one. And as you can see, here's another one. Sea Viper and level three. So that is how this one works. And with that, you just create your street pass figurines and characters and just hope for the best when you walk past and take someone on in Street Fighter 4 3D on the 3DS. So with that, I'm going to jump out and I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching, Master Rabbit, signing up from CapsuleComputers.com. Enjoy Street Fighter if you've got it. And if you do, send me a request and I can take you on. Thanks for watching.